Welcome. We are demoing New Zealand pavlova today. Uh, so, and I've made a little makeshift kitchen. So I've sanitized everything. I've cleaned my hands. I have not touched any anything else. Um, so I have my recipe right here. This is a two-day um, recipe or not necessarily because you guys won't be making it in class, but it does take a little while because you have to let the heat completely drop. So this uses egg whites, okay? It says to preheat oven to 300 degrees, which is an extremely low temperature when you're thinking like comparing it to cookies. Um, so then you want to examine your large mixing bowl for any signs of grease or water. Um, if it's not sparkling clean, take the time to wash it. I just went and washed this and dried it completely. It will affect your egg whites and how they turn out if you do not, okay? Then it says to put the egg white mixture in the mixing bowl, okay? So here are my egg whites. Um, you can also do between an egg and um, you need a, two egg whites, which I believe is a third of a cup here. Let me double check. They don't have a two large egg whites, third of a cup. Okay. All right. So level surface, I'm going to find my third of a cup and then I'm going to measure eye level. Okay. There's my eggs in the bowl sparkling clean bowl that is there you go okay then it says add a fourth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar half a teaspoon of vanilla to egg whites and begin to beat so fourth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar measuring that this is what's going to help those egg whites really become fluffy that and then my vanilla extract half a teaspoon and that goes all right now I'm going to beat this and this takes a while so um, you have to be patient. We're gonna beat it to where it begins what they call soft peaks. Hopefully I grabbed the right beaters here. Okay, so whip it, whip it good. This takes about five minutes. check is I, let's see, I'm going to dip, this bowl is not a great bowl, I'm going to dip my beaters and then when I lift them up, the peaks kind of stay. So it kind of looks foamy right now, but then the peaks come up and they fall back down. Okay, so that's a soft peak. Um, now it says, mm, set your timer for five minutes. Okay, we've done that start um we're not there yet sorry but we're going to set our timer for five minutes then we're going to slowly add half a cup of sugar and i have pre-measured my half a cup of sugar this is going to start making your egg whites turn a nice pearly color okay at this point we want our egg whites to turn from a soft peak to a stiff peak so slow is the key and full five minutes so i'm going to turn this on and this is when a partner is handy I'm turning my 
my bowl is because my mixer meters are too short for this tall bowl. creating a peak and it's staying okay so that's exactly what we want so now what I'm gonna do my trick here is I kind of just take my beaters to the side like this and I let them kick off any of the other grease. okay and now I'm done with those okay then it says lay wax paper on your cookie sheet I have wax paper here. We're going to create four, um, three or four dollops using the back of a spoon or your um, rubber scraper is what I have currently. So, and of course you won't hold a bowl like this. Oh, I just got on my thumb. Um, but I'm doing that right now currently because A, no one's going to eat this but myself and B, um, to show you guys better. Not the best at a cooking show. Don't think I'll get a job anytime soon with Food Network. So we're just gonna give it some dollops. Try and keep them even. Kind of reminds me of marshmallow fluff, okay? Um, and if you've ever eaten a meringue cookie, that's kind of what this is. So this is a meringue, okay, made with egg whites. Oops, this guy's really small over here. Don't want that because then it'll bake unevenly. So 
I may have to steal from this guy, give to that guy. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just kind of create a little flat pancake, if you will. And if I had a spoon in here, which I don't, I would take the back of my spoon and create a little well in the middle. Because, there, I'll just use the point. I don't know if you guys can even see this. Okay, so they kind of look like little bowls. That's the end goal there, okay? Make the dishes I need to do. Then it says, oh, I got it on my shirt. <laughs> I'm a mess. Um, using the back of the spoon, make a circle, bowl. Um, bake at 300 degrees for 15 minutes. Do not open the oven door. Gases are important here. The second you drop that oven door, all the gas escapes, and then these will fall, and you'll have chewy, yucky meringues, okay? So then, once the 15-minute mark happens, all you do is turn off the oven, do not open the door, okay? And let sit in the oven until completely cool, okay? So about an hour is how long it should sit in the oven, okay? Then... After that hour, you'll come back, they'll be baked. These are not baked right now, okay? Then you will scoop one up, put it on a plate. You serve it with um, fruit, a little bit of Cool Whip, and it is very yummy. It's just like a meringue cookie. So when you bake them up, they just lose their shine, and they become kind of a, a flat um, sheen instead. So. That is a fun little activity. If you want to do this, this recipe will be posted in Google Classroom.